sadness. Some of it was anger. Some of it was going through the motions. Um, some of it was because I'm not a man. I've often wanted to be a man and just punch, 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 wrong. You know, do something where you can you can get it out. I never completely got it out. So what happened was I created the prayer. I had I, I shouldn't say created. I I asked, basically cut a deal with God. I said, Look, God, what, what, I need a year. I need do? a year to be out here. I need a year because what happened was my body woke up. I started dating men who I some some people came out the woodworks. I I always liked you. You cute to me. I I like smart women. I was like, oh, because that's the <laughs> other thing that infidelity does. You start feeling ugly. Mm-hmm. You feel ugly. You don't feel like you're beautiful anymore. You don't feel valued. And so every woman that passes becomes the the potential cheat. Mm-hmm. Like you I bet he cheated with her. I bet he cheated with that one. I bet, you know, like, Uh it it just distorts that whole sort of innocent lens. So I got out, and it was just like, wow, I didn't know he would think I was cute. I didn't know this one would like me. And so I said, then I felt my womanness show back up. Like, Mm -hmm. oh, I would like to have my hands held. I do like being kissed goodnight. I do like, sweet, you know, having, you know, like, you know, kind of lewd things said to me occasionally. And all that opened up, and I said, oh, my God, well... I'm not a virgin, <laughs> and I ain't got it in me to take a vow of celibacy. What I'm gonna do? But I had, I knew better. I knew I was gonna be standing, and and I, it, if you're not in alignment with God, you against Him. Mm-hmm. You either either walking with Him or He walking not. against Him. So Absolutely. I asked Him. I said, "Could you just give me a year, just a year, to take it all in?" To and 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 you know, when we live, when you, you cut that deal, which you're never cutting a deal, God, you know, can make a decision about it whenever mm-hmm. you're ready to. But when you cut that deal, it's it's. I, I said to him, if after this year, I will live a life worthy of you. Okay, so that's that's been my effort. That's been, he gave me my year, and it's almost to a year I met my husband. It was so amazing mm-hmm. how that worked. It was like as the year wrapped up, that's when I met my husband. Wonderful, mm-hmm. wonderful. Uh, tell me about Distant Lovers. Um, Distant Lovers was really uh, sort of the reflection of men who want love but they're mean. Mm-hmm. That they 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 they, they, they like um, expressing their sexual prowess, but they're actually mean with it. That they don't take great care with how they treat you. And so I thought about all of the, 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 the Greek mythology, because Greek mythology is full of a lot of gods, you know, mm-hmm. they're all, you know what I'm saying? And so I looked at, there's one god in Greek mythology, which is, is, is Ares, mm-hmm. and he's the god of war. And um, everybody, you know, um, Aphrodite is the god of love. She loves everybody, but she doesn't commit to anybody. But her and, her and Ares do, do have this exchange. And, and so this person, that's all I thought about. I'm going to read Distant Lover because part of what I kept explaining to him was like, I don't, you know, like what you're delivering has this meanness to it that makes um, the concept of loving you not work. Mm. Yeah, it just doesn't work. So it's Distant Lover. According to Greek mythology, Aphrodite, the goddess of love, was born from the foam produced as a result of Zeus cutting off the genitals of Uranus and tossing them into the sea. Given Aphrodite's method of birth, there's no wonder why her mere existence was deemed intense. They say that true lovers are the offsprings of Aphrodite, that all who fall beholden to her love love. Love feeling love, love making love, love becomes their essence. Love and lust become incessant. Given away the signs of imperfection. See, as much as Aphrodite was filled with love, she was committed to none. She had many lovers and was the lover of many. Her life reminds us mere mortals that capturing love is never easy, that all who ride her wave surely risk getting scarred. Thought his love would take me to Mars. Scared of heights, but I was eager to go, experienced the effects of its infraction, felt the tug of our attraction. Young, energized, and smart, acted as if if love was his art. I pulled to him and him to I. Words were few sexual beings know what to do. Like the streams of particles emitted from plutonium, we were set to combust. Greek mythology describes it as a sexual rapture, a type of aphrodisiac love that captures. According to uh, offering what Marvin Gaye described as sexual healing, just the thought of it was appealing. Scripture says that anyone that looks lustfully has already committed the act. Given that fact, 
I had already seen, deduced, let the loving begin. I wanted him simply to be my lover, someone to exchange uncomplicated fantasy field fun, thought with our natural chemistry we could get it right, thought with our natural chemistry we could, he could fill my nights with erotic dreams, sensual soft things, funny how men come, women never know what they bring, turns out he was that eye candy treat, not meant to be had between your sheets, more like Ares, the god of war. Initially irresistible, immediately became one-dimensional, made love a battleground, his essence laced with a little anger, incapable of producing a love to savor. Sexual techniques were not my flavor, a product of his generation. See, modern men fear affection, avoid holding hands, seek quick correction, prefer the shallowness of erratic pumps, the disconnectedness of erratic humps. Some even refrain from exchanging a simple kiss, the very ingredient needed to ensure sexual bliss. I wanted him to be my lover, learned he didn't know how to love. Me, embodying passion, he, hiding his heart, we, producing an anti-aphrodisiatic residue. After a couple of encounters, I was through. Common once said, I am music. I want Common to know I am love. God designed more special than the finest wine needed immense time to become refined. Like Adonis, the God of desire, seek a lover to lead me higher. Sustain our sexual fire, captivated by our private streams, dominated in my romantic dreams, able to fill me with genuine feelings of lust. Like streams of particles emitted from plutonium, remain ready to combust. Invested in our sexual bliss, Enchanted by sealing it with a kiss. Wanted him to be my lover. Learned he were better kept a friend. Mm. I suggest that all the viewers <clears throat> that, that was listening to this segment of Surface Dirty, get the book. <laughs> get the book. It's very powerful because a lot of the book talks about my life just as well. I could never express how I felt. <clears throat> Uh, never could express how it truly was what I was going through. And you felt like the book kind of spoke. The book spoke loud and clear. Okay. Well, you know, and I, and I know it's a lot of men and women went through some similar things like that. Uh, infidelity, stepping over the line. Yeah, you they know, do. I I I was on both sides, you know, and <clears throat> the most important part I, I'm getting out the book is. You finding yourself with God. You said, don't smack well, God. Well, that has to be the guideline. Okay. Right, absolutely. <laughs> you see, the God is everything or he's nothing at all. Mm -hmm. and, and and you want to find yourself, your essence of you. After being um, in a marriage for 13 years and then going out into the dating scene and being shocked. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> shocked senseless. Shocked, you know, and scared, because I would have been scared to death. Uh, that, that doesn't capture death, it. You know? <laughs> so, Nick. Okay, we're going to have Nick Mathis. You're going to sing for us again? Okay, if you, like I told you, we had technical difficulties with the first segment. We're going to let Nick sing, because he also singing what we feel. Absolutely. Yeah. All right, um, Just, Nick. Performing artist, top 40 American Idol male, 2012. Let's hear it, Nick, what you got to say. Girl, you are so beautiful to me. There's no other place that I'd rather be. And right here by your side Our relationship has been tribulated and tried I know I lied I know I cheated And I didn't right Who girl I need you I just want you to hold on I promise this won't be too long Now that I know love I want you to stay Won't take you for granted Won't throw you away Now that I know love Love, love, love Now that I know love I want you to stay Won't take you for granted Won't throw you away Now that I know love Love, love, 
love Baby, I refuse to let you walk away Cause my sun is going all I see is cloudy days Sitting in my room Thinking about you, trying to fight these tears, trying to play it cool. See, I can't see myself with nobody else. I'm praying to God, send me some type of help. Say, won't take you for granted, won't throw you away. Now that I know love, 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 love. Now that I know love. I want you to stay, won't take you for granted, won't throw you away, now that I know love, 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 love. Now, though, now that you know love, you won't throw her away, you won't take her for granted, you want her to stay. <laughs> I love that song by Nick. I think it really speaks to someone making a mistake in a relationship, reflecting back on what's good, what works, having a, a, a better sense of value for his partner. And I just had to have him perform that for this launch. Good really choice. Did. Good choice. Um, just because it's getting late, although I know we told you eight to nine, but we had technical difficulties, so we're going to do, um, basically we're going to probably stay on here um, to 9.30, is that okay? Or at least 9.15? That's cool? Okay. Um, then, hey, let's, let's, um, LeBrandon, can you come? I have a, a student here, former student, family, extended family, friend, uh, a little bit of everything. I mean, he's, he's my, my greatest friend. He's never a nemesis, always down for me. Um, he supports me with anything creative and otherwise. Uh, <laughs> Really, really strong spoken word artist needs to to get back in the game and pursue it. His name is LeBrandon Hickey, and he's going to perform a piece for us called what? Hell, we never love. Whose touch is this? A quick glance in her eyes before she rests her head in my chest. Something is not being said. Our life's greatest riddles. The innocent truth buried in our dirty silence. She learns quickly. My tongue ain't one for non statements and backwards thinking. Never come for battle unaware of bloodshed. Pause. Is this really a thought when it comes to love? Play. Amazing how we prepare for situations that never come, allowing the wrong situations to have factors in our lives. Trying to find growth with no deeply rooted roots, exposed actions leading the belief to be questioned. Who the hell are we? Formally dressed while casually absent from the mind, clues left in man clues left in well mannered plate settings. Using salad forks for soup is not in the round of smart choices. Yet we use emotionally drained hearts to pilot love, leaving a horrible aftermath. Ever understood the purpose of a fire drill? It's under the what you should do if you ever face this act. Why are we not asking NASA how to navigate space? The space between the heart that has made us distance. We're not familiar with this level of affection. Not quite a natural or caring as we lead ourselves to believe. Love is an art. We lead our love is an art. Love is an art. We craft with bare hands and God fearing ambitions. Somewhere along these lines, we lost sight of that mission. We really lost sight of that mission. See, I relapsed on all those promises. Revisit all old sounds of joy, our warmth and touch. I taste for attention in the oh-so-sweet smell of victory in one another. At times, the faith of love rests in the faith of self. You know, God got it right. Mm -hmm. Our own understanding would deter our journey without his hand. And that's probably the most powerful line in it, LeBrandon. Without <coughs> God's hand in it, our own understanding, because he tells us, lean not onto your own understanding. It will deter our journey. Thank you so much, LeBrandon. Um, we're at, what, 29 minutes, 30, 39 seconds. We're going to run um, another segment. Um, we're going to check this and make sure that we actually have a podcast that's solid for you all. And um, we'll be back on the air in a few. <laughs> 